Fire is my only love. Shut up! Cartoons! Unknown 9, The Awakening. Guys, show of hands. Let me see your show of hands from you, boys and girls. Anyone excited about Unknown 9? Yeah, that's what I thought. Nobody. This game is, if you ever want to talk about shovelware at its peak, wrapped in a freaking AAA disguise, it's this piece of crap game that you see on your screen right now. Let's see what freaking Grom says here. This is going to be interesting after tonight's peak measurement. 167 people playing Unknown 9 in a world of 7 billion, and the freaking gamer market is like, what, 3 billion people? Half of the world plays video games. And you literally only have 167 people in the goddamn game at the friggin' peak right now at the nighttime. Pathetic. The game sucks. Let's go over Vera Dark's, um... You are the same man. And you are the same man. So she's going around <clears throat> into some town and there's a bunch of NPCs and literally the NPCs, the, the, the creators of the game are so lazy that the NPCs are being repeated over and over and over again because they're too lazy and fat at their friggin' Reflector Studios to actually do some work and actually try with their friggin' towns full of people. And you are the same man. And you are the same man. Purple. Let's do purple. It's just ridiculous. Every single character is being repeated. They couldn't even get their friggin' minds to the game and actually do hard work to make sure the characters look unique. No, let's just repeat the same characters over and over again. This this game literally took no money to make. Absolutely. Well, you know what most of their money was spent on? Marketing. Marketing, shilling on YouTube, sweet baby inks friggin' writing, hiring them as consulting to write for this crappy game. They wrote the storyline and narrative when the game play itself sucks, when the goddamn music in the game sucks, when the sounds in the game sucks, the gameplay mechanics, the fighting mechanics, the weapons, everything sucks in the game, but all they friggin' has is sweet baby Yank's friggin' stupid story writing. Let's look at the next video. Five dollars. Only racist so and sexist quiet. like to have fun. Thank you, Chris, for the five. The game is so low, it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Don't do that again. <laughs> we can barely hear the game and everything's at max. My computer volume's at max, the mixer's at max for you guys, the game volume's at max. <laughs> Where's he going? Don't say. Where the fuck is he going? Michael Jackson. <laughs> so the game volume's low, the mix, like everything in the game, it's dark, you can't see anything, and the volume is low, like you can't hear anything. What did you guys do at Reflector Studio? I cannot believe this is a PS5 game, a PS5 Xbox game. This released on literally next-gen PCs, next-gen consoles, and it's one of the worst quality games I've ever seen in my goddamn life. And at the end of that video, you see the freaking guy doing a moonwalk. It's full of glitches. Next video. Oh my life. I have no idea where to go next. Which part? We build the future on the backs of our forebears. What on the bones of the conquered? Six of one, half dozen of the other, certainly. Don't know the answer myself, but I'm sure I know someone who does. <laughs> the guy, the guy just keeps moonwalking. How could you guys not get that freaking fixed? How do you, where's the quality control? Where's the play testers quality control? What's going on? Did you guys not notice the goddamn main NPC who's walking around with the protagonist? Every, every little cutscene, they start moonwalking backwards. You can't even get the pathing right to this next freaking destination to run the next goddamn script in the stupid game. Let's look at the next video. You could help us, help her. This is a shakedown. Who are you people? We are the B.E. the Avengers. We're like Concord, but a little different. This white guy is only 75% bad instead of 95% bad. We bet everything on that girl. 
I'm not ready to say I'm quite just Worst yet. character design, worst voice acting, worst dialogue. What is this? This is what Sweet Baby Ink did. This is what they were hired for. Sweet Baby Ink is hired to do their narrative design, storyline, and all that stuff. Worst voice acting, storyline, dialogue I have ever seen. It's just stupid. Let's look at some more videos here. How is that fair? They should be forced to aim. If I'm forced to aim, they should be forced to aim. <laughs> it's just full of glitches. <laughs> After the fight sequence, the, uh, the other NPCs just continues walking into the wall. That's up. <laughs> so they're not forced to aim, right? So basically they aim in one position and as soon as their aim is on lock, you can move out of the way and then they're not forced. It's just stupid. Worst battle mechanics ever. And you know what they're going to say? They're going to be like, well, you can't say anything if you haven't played the game. I don't need to play the game. I can look at it. I can look at someone else's gameplay. I can look at gameplay, no commentary, whatever. And us as gamers have the ability to look at video of games and realize how crappy the game is. Let's see what else we got here. The next video. shoot to the left how did he just do that oh so that's how it is the graphic looks like they're not aiming at you but as soon as, as soon as they lock on your target they can shoot you from any angle that's what the game is that's how lazy you guys are at the goddamn video game company developing this game. You couldn't even put in the work to make sure that the graphic of the enemy is actually aiming at you when they shoot and hit you. No, just once they freaking start to cock up their goddamn bullet and they're ready to fire, no matter where you go in the arena of the battle arena, it's gonna hit you no matter what. That is lazy. That is so bad. That is such a bad little design that you guys have there. By the way, the source, someone said, uh, you should say the source of your videos. The source is Twitter, okay? I don't know where this video is from, from Vera Dark. It's on her Twitter page. That's the source. Look at this. Bandai Namco buys Unknown 9 Awakening Developer Reflector. He says they canceled one piece of Naruto for this. Bandai Namco. I am ashamed at Bandai Namco. I can't believe that company, Tekken, uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, all, all like all these good games by Bandai, and they're associated with this piece of trash game that was released by freaking Sweet Baby Cox. Let's see what the next thing is. Unknown Nine is sitting at sixty four Metacritic rating. Games Radar gives it a fifty, and the Gamer gives it three point five stars. Look at this. So that's whatever. Look, look at the pros. Anya Charlotte is a great as Haruna. How is that a pro? <laughs> How is that a pro of a game? Oh, this actor is great at voice acting. That's not a pro, okay? That's a friggin' prerequisite to make the game friggin' at least doable in today's standards. Ripping out souls of enemies is metal. Wow, 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 you're so edgy. Ripping out souls is metal. Wow, you're so cool with your little edgy little words. Supernatural powers enable you to cause chaos. What kind of pro is that? Don't most games have some sort of little mechanic where you could cause chaos? That is the dumbest pro list I've seen in my life. Cons. Janky combat can undermine the playful powers. Yeah, obviously, you have the enemies aiming at the wall, you're standing behind them, and the bullet still hits you. Proper noun Latin lore can overwhelm. Story can feel choppy. Yeah, you can thank Sweet Baby Ink for that freaking trash. And look at this. The gamer gives it 3.5 out of 5. Are you insane? Literally 1, 1 to 1. 1.5 out of 5 I'd give this game at today's standards. Learning the Law, Sweet Baby DEI, Bandai Namco, Unknown 9 Awakening has officially been released and player data is now available. With a whopping three players worldwide, this might be the biggest Sweet Baby flop ever. They can't even, they can't stop breaking record. There are three in-game playing. Unknown 9 Awakening, three.
Okay, and I guarantee you two of them are probably streamers making fun of the game and one of them is just some freaking bot in the goddamn developing company doing some play testing. It's pathetic. Five out of ten. So IGN gives it five out of ten. They know. You know why they did this? Do you know why IGN did this right now and gave this game five out of ten? Because they know that we're watching. They know that if we see IGN give this piece of trash game a seven, Dustborn got a seven, Concord got a seven, but they, then they realized, wait a minute, we can't get, we can't lie and give these games high marks anymore. We need to kind of be honest. So they gave it a five so that we don't roast IGN for their friggin' bias that they have. Eurogamer Poland, 50 out of 10. The unknown nine story, nine story world. I will not be watching any of this crap. And then he got these reviews, bad thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs down. It's just ridiculous. It's out of control. This game sucks. Please do not buy it. If you're a content creator trying to make content for yourself, fine, you can buy it to make fun of it. But if you're just a player and you're just some guy who likes video games or whatever, do not buy this game. Do not give this company a single penny of your goddamn money. Because if you do, they're going to brag about it when they say, oh, time to speak out about Unknown 9. And then they're going to say, guess what? We made good sales and we're fine. That's all they care about is the bottom dollar, the money dollar. Do not buy this crap. Happy game.